everybody. Thanks for tuning back in. Well, I'm now starting week four of radiation treatment. I'm actually having to do a double dose of radiation today because my the office is closed on Christmas. So they scheduled me for two doses today, but it's okay. I'll get through it. Um, I know it's been a while since I've did a an update or since I've done an update so I wanted to give you guys an update about what's been going on um, my last update was about five days after chemo and I had a really bad day um, <clears throat> Lord only knows that or Lord only knew at that time that it was gonna get worse uh, the nausea was debilitating there were several times that I thought I was going to lose it. I thought I was, uh, I was curled up, couldn't, couldn't move, and was wondering if it was all worth it. The answer to that is yes, it, it is all worth it. It's completely worth it, especially since I'm going to make a full recovery. But uh, there were some times I was sitting there wondering what was, what was going to happen. <clears throat> so... <clears throat> nausea lasted up until about, <clears throat> excuse me, about 10 days after chemo. Yeah, maybe even longer. Um, but I finally was able to get some food and stuff down. My dietitian and I, we had uh, discussed when we first, when I first started going through this, my dietitian and I discussed my calorie needs for maintaining my weight because they didn't want me to lose a pound. If you remember back to my, one of my previous videos, I was saying that they didn't want me to lose a pound. Well, I'm down 37 pounds in three and a half weeks. So yeah, the dietitian isn't very happy with me, but what can I do? Um, they wanted me to do 6,500 calories a day to maintain. That's a lot of calories. That's more than I was eating even before I got cancer. And um, I was like, okay, I'll eat ice cream every time, every every meal. I'll do what I need to do. Um, and for two weeks. I think maybe I got 2,500 calories in for the entire week, the week after chemo. Uh, so there was a, uh, a big, a big um, hurt in my throat. I couldn't swallow hardly at all. The stuff that I could swallow was not very high in, in uh, fat content, wasn't very high in calorie content because it was it is it was just what i could get um and then <clears throat> i'm laying in bed one night and it's funny your body tells you exactly what you need it, it'll tell you exactly what you need exactly when you need it it's it's if you just start to get in tune with your body when 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 you get diagnosed with cancer one of the things you start to do is you start to really uh, start paying attention to everything that's going on in inside your body and you know uh, your, your throat your your head you know because you're the doctors are asking you all these questions and you need to know the answers to these questions and you need to be able to tell them your symptoms and you need to be able to to uh, describe them uh, as best you possibly can and so you really start to pay attention to everything that's going on is is this a side effect is is this something that i need to be concerned about so you really start paying attention to everything and if you start listening to your body your body tells you exactly what it needs so um i got what was called mucositis i'm on a steroid for it mucositis is a uh, hardening um, basically the radiation is ripping away all of my mucus membranes and so the hardening of the mucus in the back um, is basically causing my throat to feel like somebody's taken a, a hair tie, taken all of my soft palate, tied it up in a knot in a hair tie, and then covered it in cement. Yeah, pleasant, right? So I'm laying in bed one night, and my body is telling me, you need apple juice. Let me tell you, apple juice has been... A miracle for me um, I got up in the middle of the night I <laughs> told the wife I'm going to the store I've got to get some apple juice I got it I don't know why but I need it so I went I got some I came back opened it up and I took a big old glass and it was the first thing I'd been able to drink in a week and a half that felt like it was quenching my throat quenching my thirst and I was able to coat my throat enough to where it literally brought a tear to my eye I was in the kitchen finishing up this big tall glass of apple juice at midnight 
with a tear in my eye because I could, I could drink. It was, it was amazing. So, um, for me, anyways, apple juice is the best thing that ever happened to, uh, to the world. <laughs> it's nice because I'm getting calories. I'm getting electrolytes. I'm getting hydration. Um, it's, it's helping, um, with the, uh, the, the flow, the plumbing, so to speak. I won't get any more gross than that, but, um, yeah. So if you're stuck in this situation, if you need to try something, try some apple juice. Um, it's been amazing for me. I, I'm allergic to pineapple. I'm definitely allergic to pineapple. It makes my throat swell up. And I mean, I, I will go into anaphylaxis and I will die. But my body was even telling me pineapple juice was something that I needed. So I knew at that point that something, I needed something. And it was, it was perfect. So, um, so I've been drinking my apple juice. And I've been actually able to, you know, eat. Um, I can't taste a thing. I, I can't. I mean, it's 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 lost on me i'm just right now i'm just eating just to eat just to keep my weight up but um i i get no pleasure out of it uh that's part of the reason why i've lost so much weight it's uh i can smell it uh everything smells amazing um went over to my uh, brother-in-law sister-in-law's last night for some uh, chicken alfredo and some salad um uh, and some oreo peppermint pie and uh i couldn't taste a thing <laughs> It sucks so bad. I, I could smell it. It smelled so awesomely amazing, but there's just, there's nothing here. Uh, taste buds are gone uh, for now. Uh, that should return about three to four weeks after radiation is done, which is in about a month. I'll be done with radiation. So about two months, three months, maybe I'll have my taste back and I'll be able to, you know, I'll be able to actually eat again. Um, but what I do find out is I do find out that uh, what good what textures are good and what textures are not. So, like an Arby's roast beef sandwich, I love Arby's beef and cheddars. But, and I thought that the the texture of an Arby's roast beef and cheddar would be would be would be good. But without the flavor of an Arby's, it it's really kind of gross to be honest with you. So we won't be doing that anymore. But I've been I find cheese enchiladas. Um, are good. I can kind of taste the cheese. Um, I can definitely, the, the texture is really, really good and really, really nice. Um, I can uh, taste some of the peppers um, and some of the seasonings a little bit um, within the the enchilada sauce. So, you know, I get a little, uh, I, I can eat those. Uh, four cheese omelets, uh, just plain four cheese omelets with some sour cream and some cottage cheese. That's a really good breakfast I've been doing. Boost Energy drinks, uh, chocolate. I can taste a little bit of chocolate on the Boost Energy drinks. I can do the, uh, I can do ice cream, like chocolate ice cream, uh, strawberry ice cream. I can taste that somewhat, which is good. But you know, it's right now. It, it's it's not a pleasurable thing for me, and it kind of sucks because I love food, as you could probably tell. But anyways. Um, what else do I have going on? It's been a while. Uh, I was able to procure permission to record one of my radiation sessions, so I'm definitely going to be putting that up. Look for that in the next couple videos. Also, um, some tips and tricks on uh, if you're a caretaker, uh, someone that's taking care of uh, someone with cancer, and uh, you just need some encouragement, look for a video coming up. I'm, I'm uh, talking to the love of my life. Uh, Miss Amy, who's been on the channel a couple of times, and we're discussing some uh, some things to broadcast for for you folks who are or the main support for someone who's caring for cancer and things you can do to to help yourself. Um, I am also going to be posting something. If you are going through cancer and you have somebody in your life, or you're fortunate enough to have somebody in your life that's your primary care um, taker, just some things that I'm finding um, are helpful to them to help you help the, or have them to help them help you that's what i'm trying to say um they're no good to you if they're tired they're angry they're cranky they're overwhelmed so i'm just going to share with you some of the things that i've done i'm not i'm not an expert by any means but these are just some of the things that i've done uh, in an upcoming video just some of the things that i've done to, to help my wife cope with what's been happening um, so she doesn't get completely burnt out and, and useless to the rest of us. 
So I'll look for that video coming. Um, but I do appreciate, today's a good day. I can talk. Uh, you can tell I'm losing a lot of my beard hair, so I'm going to have to shave. Um, but um, it, it's a good day. The last few days have been good. I'm able to talk. I'm able to swallow for the most part. Um, and I'm able to, you know, to work, which is my main, my main concern, my main priority. So, uh, with that being said, I'm going to let you go. Uh, have a very, very Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and I will update you guys again soon.